Daniel Kasongo's family got a phone call telling them to rush to the hospital. When they got there, his body was in the morgue. He supported Zambia's ruling Patriotic Front and was out campaigning for President Edgar Lungu when he was killed. His relatives and friends say he was killed by opposition supporters. What I feel about my brother, like uh, he, he's gone, yeah, he's gone. He's gone, but I, I can't feel happy like in such manner. My brother, to see my brother is being killed in such manner, I can't be happy, which is uh, is something too dangerous. Like to us, we have just remained. A country is not supposed to live like that. People are not supposed to be killed like animals. No, me, I condemn the violence. Across town, another family is devastated. Miriam Chiseba's husband Joram belonged to the opposition party UPND. He was putting up campaign posters when he was killed with a machete, allegedly by backers of the ruling party. It hurts. The way he died was cruel. I now have to look after the children by myself. I don't know what I'm going to do or how I'm going to manage without him. Zambia is no stranger to election violence. Political parties often accuse each other of stoking tensions and destroying property. There have been incidents of violence by ruling party and opposition supporters across the country in the run-up to the vote. President Edgar Lungu has ordered the deployment of the military to try and maintain peace and order. There are 16 presidential candidates, but the main contenders are the incumbent, President Edgar Lungu, and opposition leader Hakainde Hichilema, a businessman who has already made several unsuccessful presidential runs. Right now, uh, what we see at what is before us is that one violence is definitely likely to go on, and also, um, uh, and also uh, court proceedings uh, is are also likely to actually go on. This is based or premised on the fact of uh, recent uh, happenings in recent uh, elections, especially the 2016 election. Five years ago, Lungu narrowly defeated Hichilema. The opposition alleged vote rigging and there was unrest. Many here worry that history will repeat itself when Zambians go to the polls this week. Harumatasa Al Jazeera, Lusaka.